And welcome everyone to Blue 64, dedicated to you, Elmo Langley. You have no idea who that is, but that's okay. I have a half a clue who that is. Yeah, he's a, a, an incredibly dead driver. But um, six, How incredibly dead are we talking here? I, I think he died in like the 90s? Good lord. That but, was like 20... Yeah, yeah, that was like years ago. Jesus. Yeah, it's uh, deep, deep cuts because there's not a lot of people that drive number 64. But since it's Blue 64, we are starting with the, uh, the I guess, technically the first round of the tournament. Maybe the but, second uh, round. Well, we're technically past the preliminaries, so... Yeah, this hey, is true. What? This is the number... Let's see. Four seed Cookie Monster versus the number 20 seed Trunks. Cookie Monster coming out immediately. Out of the box. Cookies. 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 Co <laughs> what can I say? Hey, he really brings the world out in the crowd. Especially oh, yeah. seeing as the entire crowd is currently chanting for cookies. I mean, he, he, he does operate on a very, very universally beloved platform. Well, you know, it's kind of hard to deny. If someone comes up to you with a cookie, your first reaction is... Eat it. Eat that cookie. Eat it all. Mm. If you eat it like him, it's just bonus points. Oh, totally. Now, Cookie Monster, he's been out of the fray for a little bit. He's been on Jack Nation Red, but the um, the, the purging from Jack Nation Red continues. Well, you know what? I mean, it's a little sad for the Jack Nation Red to lose such a huge competitor, but at this point, does it really matter for Cookie Monster? Actually, kind of does, because if he doesn't do this right, he he's going to be doing very, very poorly on anyone's roster. Oh, yeah. Huge. And that would just be, hey, look at that. So we don't actually have a third person. <laughs> oh, Trunks. The man who's cleaned up massively since, or since, well, last year, really. Oh, yeah. And he's he's on a bit of a hot streak. Um, He has uh, he lost the six-man match to get into the Galactic title uh, match at uh, Galactic Throwdown 5. But hey, if he can win this whole tournament, gets a blue title match. Which is far bigger. And he beat, in probably one of the biggest upsets in the first round, or preliminary round, if you will, beat the far more favorable Zangief. Damn right. I definitely had him under Zangief, but this is just going to be massive for Trunks if he can manage to win this entire tournament as a number 20 seed. Yeah, I know. It was a huge win for that. And Zangief, by the way, incensed that he lost. Very, very, very pissed that he lost. Demands a match against Trunks in the future. And um, we'll see if he gets it. I mean, right now, Trunks is a little busy, so he won't, he won't be wrestling Zangief anytime soon. Unless he loses the Cookie Monster right here. That would just be very unfortunate. And here Trunks. we go. And uh, who you got winning this? You got Trunks? You got Cookie Monster? Um, let's just put it this way. I'm going to go with what I know to be he's something that works. Cookie Monster has already been a champion before. It's not going to be too hard to see him be champion again. Meanwhile, Trunks is a little bit of an under, a bit of an underdog, and I'm just not feeling the whole David and Goliath feel with this guy. So, right now, I'm going to say Cookie Monster. That's true. I, I, I'm, I'm going to go with Trunks just because uh, I'm a little bit of a magnation. Oh, nice German suplex by Cookie Monster. Jeez. Bit, of, bit of a purist, and uh, Trunks is the first ever Atomweight champion. So I brought him over here to spice up my uh, Atomweight ranks, and hell. He's overperforming to begin with, and he looks like he's bulked up a little bit, almost to the point where I don't know if he could theoretically be that good of an atom weight. Huh. Well, you know what? Sometimes it's just a small little step into being just a different competitor. And uh, in this case, yeah. maybe just a small breath of life. Yeah, well, kind, yeah kind of like how Kota Ibushi uh, beefed up a little bit to um, be like, I think it was like a light heavyweight or something in New Japan, but he slimmed back down to be a cruiserweight when he got to WWE. Something like yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. Which is exactly what I think Trunks is trying to do. Is he's trying to, he's trying to show that he can have the chops to be a world champion. Which he definitely outsizes the um, ex world champion in Cookie Monster. That's true, Cookie Monster, former blue champion. That's why he's rated so high. I mean, I got I got to follow the brackets a little bit as far as like giving people that were like t t former champions. They were the they are the number one through four seeds here. Jason, Bane. Uh, Captain America and Cookie Monster, which is a little sad because out of all those guys, I think only, or I think two of them were actually good guys, and then you have Bane and freaking, freaking Captain America. <laughs> yeah, Captain America making his blue debut, 
uh, in our next video, 65. As uh, tonight will be the first half of the uh, second round, so you'll also have Jason versus One Punch Man, Green Goblin, White Ranger, and Lincoln Wolverine. Now that's going to be a matchup. I've or I was there for like some of the first of uh, uh, Sayata or Sayatama's uh, matches, and he was absolutely horrifying. Then he hasn't slowed down. Ooh, nice all roundhouse kick to the back of the head. I'm glad, I'm glad that you know how to pronounce his name because I do not. That's why I just call him One Punch Man. It's it's very rare that I can actually do that kind of stuff, but it's it's a lot of fun. It's all right. It'll, it'll, get a, it'll definitely get us indie cred here because people are always like, his name is what, what you said, and I'm like, it's, it's One Punch Man. It, it, hey, you know what? If he prefers to be called One Punch Man, then he prefers to be called One Punch Man. <laughs> Who am I to tell him otherwise? It's true. I mean, his face is just ever just giving no shits at all times. Even when he gives a shit, he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> exactly. That, that, that is the face of a man that does not give any shit. Oh, huge punch to the face by Cookie Monster here. Float over DDT. DDT. Onto the very thin padding on the outside of this ring. Padding. Yeah, the blue. And now he's, just, he's twisting that neck. No, so, no submissions or no pinfalls at all are, are on the outside, so I don't know what he's doing there. Maybe just weakening him up. Cookie Monster going up top, though. Is he going to stay going up top? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. Slapping him I was going to be a little bit more impressed with that. And Slapping Hurricane Rana. There you go. Cookie CM Monster. Cook showing, CM Cook showing off his uh, current World Heavyweight Championship chops that he's. Really kind of lost the last couple of years. Oh, yeah. Um, well, he ended up, um, I think it was losing to, oh, God, I forget who he lost to. Might have been Jason. I forget. He didn't have a long blue title reign. That's for darn sure. Nope. But that doesn't matter. He still has it on his ledger. And if he ever decides to go somewhere else, he's going to say, hey, look, I was a world champion. That's true. And it was just the luck of the draw that we were able to pick him up here. Oh, small, small inside package. Yamcha. Completely late in that one, two, no kick out of two. Yamcha, if you had gotten down just a little bit quicker, this match would have already been over. <laughs> would have been a disappointing match, but hey, it would have been a victory for Cookie Monster. Side rushing leg sweep by the Cookie Monster. Up, oh, up, oh, looks like he might be queuing up for Go to Street here. Go to Street. Gets him up. He gets him up. And Go to Street. That Jesus might be it right God. there already. Seven and a half minutes into this video. Cover one. One. Two. Two. No kick at it. Two. By Trunks. What resolved by Trunks? And, he, and we can't really blame drugs for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is all heart by Trunks. That's true. I mean, he is. He may be feeling a bit of the uh, bit of the gusto here, considering that he is uh, back in the same brand um, uh, as Lake. The one that uh, initially died and gave him those sexual and emotional powers. Yes, sir. You gotta admit, being in cl such close proximity to someone who's been integrally tied to your entire life is just its just good business. Now, if Trunks and Link were to both win tonight, they would be facing each other next round. Oh my god. Yeah. That, 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 that'd be a twist right there. Oh, nice! A little move right there by Cookie Monster. That might be it. Cover one, two, no, kick out of two. And Trunks putting up one hell of a fight here. He hasn't put in much offense, but he is definitely putting in a, a spirited amount of uh, fighting spirit. Fighting spirit. The real question here is, can he keep that up, though? We have seen people win from that position, but it's not easy, and it doesn't happen often. That's true. He was technically the lowest seed in this tournament. Although, oh God, like, can't. Although 16 He's not going through 20. Forward, is he? Oh, yes, the swing. Giant swing. Ooh. He's still going. <laughs> yeah, seeds, just, seeds 15 through 20 were pretty low. Though. Just, they were just like a grab bag. One, two. two. Yeah. And Trunks can't believe the Cookie Monster kicked out of the giant swing. The Saiyan swing. Really, and I can't say I really blame him. That's true. That's supposed to be a kind of move that sets people down, just puts them on the, their back, but no. Cookie Monster not deciding to say die tonight. That's true. And Trunks, look, oh, well, he was looking for that perfect flex, didn't get it. That is his uh, finishing move. Because, okay. uh, yeah, he, he named it after his dad because apparently, like, dad perfect. Like, yeah, I don't know, his dad made the move, like, like as far as naming it. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you just got to go with what you know works. And after you see your dad do it about 500 times, what else can work? What do you want me to call this suplex? The perfect plex. Why? Because I'm perfect. What do you mean? 
I'm Vegeta, the Prince of All Saints. I'm perfect. And if you tell me otherwise, I will put it on you. <laughs> oh, and nice I'm... little blow there by Trunks. As he is certainly uh, been lightening up here. But Cookie Monster coming right back. You gotta remember that Trunks is definitely on the, is definitely on a tear here. But Cookie Monster is still the wily. Oh, shit, veteran. was this a tiger driver? Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Backbreaker. The welcome to Sesame Street, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, going up! Oh, the elbow drop! Got him! No way. Got him! Pin him, Cookie Monster! Hit. One! Or two! No, oh. kick out at two. Kick out at two. And Cookie Monster cannot believe and now Cookie that Monster. Trunks kicked out of it. He, he's got to be thinking to himself, what he's got to do? Take down this saying. Well, that's the only question that can really come up at this point. Because, hell, you've already jumped 500 feet in the air to drop an elbow on the guy. I don't know. What else has he got to do? He's also trying to put him to street, but that Ooh, definitely doesn't happen. Oh, oh, uppercut there. And into the stairs. I mean, he's a Muppet, but damn, Muppets got feelings too. Muppets definitely have feelings in their guts. That's for darn certain. Oh, yeah. And now again, whipping over the stairs, those precious Muppet shins. My shins hurt just watching this. And normally you don't get to see a Muppet shin, so very, very honored that we're, he's able to showcase as much as he is right now. I think this is probably the most we've seen of his body in quite a while, actually. That's true. Normally they have him cowboy cut, cut him off right of the ankle. Always with that cowboy cut. <laughs> and Trunks. neck breaker. Big neck breaker. Trunks, ever since he bulked up... Oh, cross arm breaker! That might be it! This might be it? Will he break that arm? Is he gonna make that Muppet tap? Nope, nope. Gets out of it. And th uh, since he bulked up, I didn't know if he was gonna have the same problem that he had against Cell, where he was, like, too big to hit him, but... He has gotten through. Nice little maneuver there. Cover one! Two! two. Oh. One. Two. This is gonna be a oh. one. Oh, no. no okay. Not one. Thing, uh, that's a shame. That is a shame, but in this case, though, I'm very, very surprised to see Trunks actually reverse that, especially with uh, Cookie Monster being the wily veteran that he is. It's true, Trunks, just very used to competing, like as far as like the lightweight competition. So I'm very impressed that he's been able to keep up with, hell, even a lightweight as he is in the Cookie Monster. Big back Cookie body Monster. drop. Cookie Monster's bigger than he's used to. That's for darn certain. Oh yeah, he probably bulked up a little bit. I mean, he has been on a flagship show with a robot for a while. With the robot. And another elbow drop. Got yes, him. Sir. Got him. That might be it again. He just has to rush and cover him there. One, two. No, one. Two. Two. Yeah, kick another out. kick out by Trunks. And Cookie Monster has to be asking himself, how? How? Oh! <laughs> what an insecurity by the Cookie Monster. That's definitely a way to get started. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to set him up for the go to street again. Is he going to hit it? Nope. Hurricane Rana, fair enough. Hey, he's already tried the go to street once. He's already tried the elbow drop twice. What else has he got in his arsenal? Uh, the Cookie Crumbler. Oh, remember the Cookie Crumbler? Ah, uh, the Cookie Crumbler. Yeah. Not a lot of matches <laughs> decided by submissions in blue lately, but hey, we'll see what happens. Well, I mean, it's clear that at least one of these guys have already tried for submission, so it's not exactly out of the Ooh! question. Ooh! Get... Looks like a tornado DDT that he just like looped him into the ropes, hangman right, style. I was about to say this is some short of, sort of like shot or. Um, oh, and Cookie oh. Monster was talking shit, but he got caught for it. Now Trunks. He's calling for something. Is it gonna be that perfect plex? Oh, uh, looks like it. Perfect plex. Perfect got him. Works. Got him. Cover one, two. two. Oh, kick at it two. Oh my God, how? Man, I thought that might have been in. Also, I thought that uh, Cookie Monster was lacking the ring presence there. So he could have very easily grabbed that bottom rope. Well, that's not how Cookie Monster fights. He may be a wily veteran, but he's definitely not a cheat. No. You could definitely hand it to the Muppet for that. Got out of that. As I said, though, being the wily veteran that he is, he escapes that hole, but he doesn't seem to get out of that little arm drag. And what is he looking for? Pile driver here? My God. Pile driver! Jesus Christ, boy. <laughs> he just broke that Muppet's neck. I don't even know if Muppets have necks, but we'll find out. 
Well, I mean, if it's broken, then it's definitely got, he's definitely got one. He's now looking to pull that arm out of that, that Muppet socket. Trying to wrench it right out of his freaking arm. Oh, my gosh. Wrenching that shoulder. Nope. Cookie Monster fighting out of it. Nice opening match to start off with already 15 minutes in. Well, oh. when you got two Wiley veterans, this is what you get. Oh Welcome gosh, to Sesame Street, Street motherfucker. <laughs> Go Sesame Street. And now looking for a third elbow drop. My God. He just keeps dropping that elbow. Got it again! Trunks not understanding where elbows seem to be coming from. Cover! He just keeps getting elbow drops over and over One, again. Two! He kicks out again. What is he, the ultimate warrior? Apparently. He just keeps getting elbow dropped. And keeps he kicking just keeps out. Kicking. How many elbow drops did the Ultimate Warrior get? Like six? It was like, yeah, like six or seven. Trunks, not knowing what the Cookie Monster is, I can't say I blame him. This is a lot of blue, and his opponent is literally entirely blue. Yeah, people talk shit about John Cena and Roman Reigns not sell, but take seven elbow drops, and he's like, nah, bro, I'm good. He kicks out of seven of my finishers. Seven. <laughs> no, wonder, no wonder Randy Savage had to retire that day. Oh, perfect flex! Got him! Got him again. Cover. One. Two. Ooh. That's it. Trunks. Making sure that my picks are, as always, not credible. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, let's see here. Because uh, we had one perfect bracket going into that match. And that bracket is dead. It was uh, Z Kate's predictions. I might be Ooh. pronouncing that wrong. He had Cookie Monster going to the Final Four. That won't be happening. So uh, now, yeah. now no one's getting that brand new car. Ah, uh, what a shame. I know. And, and as far as, wow, uh, as far as our main brackets, because remember, the top ten all get uh, wrestlers that um, get put in a Royal Rumble, one of those getting a contract. You also get followed by us on Twitter. We're a very rare follow, unless you're a wrestler that we like to make fun of. <laughs> so That's our, yeah. several <laughs> Our top ten going into tonight... ZK's predictions, no longer perfect. Avi, um, second place with three points. Also with three points, you got Bane wins LOL. Fan favorite link to pull up the upset. Bring back Iron Sheet Tweet of the Day. We might. Uh, bring back 50 Cent if you win. Yeah, maybe. Cookie Monster does it again. You're having a bad day. One Punch Man <laughs> wins. Still an option. Yes, Cookie Monster winning. That's not happening. Goblin's Revenge. And uh, that's our top ten right there. So, uh... We're definitely going to be see seeing some jumbling here as Trunks breaking a few of our brackets to start off with. Shattering. Absolutely shattering several brackets. Now here's a real question. How in the world did this happen? Oh yeah. We have the... Let's see. Go back to the bracket. We have the number 8 seed, Green Goblin. Where's the number 9 seed, White Ranger? Now, this is a matchup I think everyone's been wanting to see for quite some time now. Yeah. Mostly just because, you know, Green Goblin, definitely one of those guys who should have been way higher just over the last few years, but never really seemed to get his own once he got he lost that uh, Hardcore Championship. Yeah, he got he lost the Hardcore... Well, he gave away the Hardcore Championship to get a match against, I believe, Captain America. Lost via shenanigans, got injured, and we didn't see him again on Green. Which and, has to be one of the most disappointing things I think I've heard all year. And then uh, I, I picked him up, and uh, I've been giving him a chance here. And it looks like, uh, ooh, I'm going through some of our brackets here, and uh, we got some implications here. ZK's predictions, he has White Ranger winning the whole damn thing. Second place, nope. Avi has Green Goblin winning the whole damn thing. Ooh, that could, or that could jumble up everything. This is a match with a lot riding on it right now. Bring back Iron Sheik Tweet of the Day has Green Goblin winning it all. This one has Green Goblin going to the finals. Green Goblin, a lot of fav people's favorites here. As well as right, White Ranger. I'm seeing White Ranger in a few Final Fours. Well, that's because White Ranger is just one of those guys who, it really kind of depends on whether he gives a shit. Exactly. And he, he's been 50-50. I mean, he had that amazing match against uh, Captain Ultra at Magamania. And then That's kind great. of uh, kind of dw drifted along since then. Well, I mean, this is his opportunity to show that he can give a shit for longer than a month. This is true. And here comes the Hitman Goblin. Now, this is one of my personal favorite guys, practically of all time. So you can probably guess who's got my vote. And he's debuting a bit of a new moveset here. 
Because uh, he, he was, I was talking to him in the back, and he said that uh, a few of his moves were lacking the uh, the impact that he would like to see. So, uh, I, I can understand that. So, Especially with him being such a hardcore champion, he really needed a kind of moveset that would actually, you know, get him that kind of a hit. Yeah, so he, he adopted, uh, I believe, at least a new finisher, the uh, the Pumpkin Bomb. So uh, we'll see if he's able to uh, debut that here tonight. That is the question I have to ask. But here's another question I have to ask. Will he be giving away his uh, shades to any small children today? Apparently not. Oh my god, what happened, man? Come on. I believe he, he's in uh, he's in war mode here. That's Because he's wearing them in the match, apparently. <laughs> Dang, that's some serious <laughs> war mode stuff, bro. He <laughs> really wants this win. Breaking the fourth wall, I think I actually gave him those shades on purpose. Oops. <laughs> well, yeah, on purpose, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to have him wear them during the match. <laughs> Fuck it. He needs him. He needs him for at least his entrance. And they're like, "Hey, you want to have him for the match too?" I'm like, "Yeah, why not?" Well, I mean, like, and now these two are pushing each other into corners, into their own corners, actually. Yeah. A bit of a they're test of strength here. White Ranger and Green Goblin both showing a very healthy amount of respect between the two of them. This is very odd to see right at the beginning of the match. I uh, yeah, because because uh, both of them, uh, this is it's almost oh. I was good, I was good, about to call the match polite until he punched him in the face. Well, you know, occasionally you just have to get that ball st all rolling, and in this case, it looks like the ball is now back to where we were. Just pushing each other through the ring. <laughs> and a slap! <laughs> Green Goblin, not he's showing some sort of new uh, attitude today. Well, Green Goblin did come in last in our Elimination Chamber match, to which the guy that was really pissed off that I unintentionally showed that in our trailer... Um, <laughs> He's like, you gave away the match. I'm like, you talking about it in the comments is leading more people along to it. It really is. It, but here comes Green Goblin showing off that brand new attitude, apparently. I don't know if I like this attitude as much as I used to. What the fuck to. is this, a strong style match or something? Apparently. Because they're just pushing each other into corners and slapping each other. This and like punching sumo? Each other. <laughs> what is this? It's, like, who's going to win this? Apparently, whoever pushes each other more into the corner. I know both of you have good movesets. Do them. Well, I mean, we finally got to see a, um, a head scissors takedown, which is nice. Yeah, this is true. And wrenching on the next shoves them down. Go for your finisher immediately. Go for hit that tiger sword. No, no. <laughs> no, hit the pumpkin bomb. Hit the pumpkin bomb. Oh, man. A couple elbows there. Oh, and a knee. What the f... <laughs> this is very much a strong style match, ladies and gentlemen. Kick him in the face! This. All right. This is the like stiffest match I've seen. Kind of I know. <laughs> people people are expecting like a, kind of like a friendly match. They're just stiffing the shit out of each other. Like, this is what I imagine a Shinsuke Nakamura versus Hideo Itami match going like. Well, uh, breaking the fourth wall again, White White Rangers moves it is a day. I mean, that that's not so surprising. I just changed it to the Tiger Sword, and uh, Green Goblins is a bit of a mashup between uh, Bret Hart and other people. Ah, uh, Brett. Because he's the Hitman Goblin. you got to give him at least some Hitman shit. Yeah, no, I know. I definitely agree with that. Oh, into the I... ring post! Jesus Christ, boy. Bret Hart seems like one of those people that would flourish if uh, he were around with, like, the uh, the Shinsuke and Samoa Joe. I, think well, I, don't know about, I don't know so much about Samoa Joe, mostly just because um, Brett apparently, like, you know really likes to rag on the fact that he never hurt a or another wrestler in his life. Oh. Well, Which, that's because yeah, a lot of their moves know. were a lot less... Uh, oh, I thought he was going for the Tiger Sword. Nope. Elp knees him in the face. Like, a, a lot of the, the wrestlers' moves back in the day weren't that, like, crazy. No, like, you know, the atomic drop. Like, the DDT you know. was a finisher for a while. Now, like, a big finisher. Avalanche backbreaker by Green Goblin. Now, uh, I forgot to ask you, who you want to win this match? Well, I, like, I'm still going to go with my, my personal favorite as of all time, the Green Goblin. Yes. But he, but I really, really am not enjoying this new... Uh... Oh, damn! Well, he definitely missed that European uppercut. Hell yeah, White Ranger! <laughs> White Ranger, I think you know that I'm recording more shit after this and you want to be in a match. <laughs> I, I can definitely understand that. Good lord. Yeah. Who, who He's is, just stomping the ever-loving shit out of the Green Goblin. Who do you want to see the White Ranger go against? Who would I like to see the White Ranger go against? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn! Jesus, why? 
You know what? No. I want to see him go up against Bane. Mostly because I just want to see if this would actually work against Bane. Yeah, I might do it. Oh, man. Nice little suplex Thanks. into the ropes. Oh, yeah, and um, I should probably tell you uh, what's happening here. Um, Green God, the winner of this is facing the winner of Jason versus One Punch Man, happening later on today. Now, that's going to be a matchup Which, everyone needs to see. In theory, could be the rematch of uh, a match from the GDT. What is this? Oh, damn! A fisherman driver. Damn. Why? What? Who gave him these moves? Who gave them to him and why? I know, this is amazing. White Ranger putting in a hell of an effort for himself. Uh, the winner of this facing the, the winner of Jason, which could be, theoretically, Green Goblin versus Jason, a rematch of a damn good ladder match they had in the GDT. Which would definitely be... It's got to produce at least some bad blood between the two. Like, I mean, people go watch that ladder. match again. That match was awesome. It was. But again, it's going to create some bad blood because, you know, it's a ladder match. Ladder matches are dangerous. Very dangerous. And with, or given Jason's relative lack of a... Jesus Christ, why? Well, the, the match in the tournament would be a singles match. Well, of course, naturally. But the last time they fought was in a ladder match. Other than, like, you know, the Elimination Chamber. That was a huge, huge near fall right there by the White Ranger. And a drop kick. They, I am so impressed with the White Ranger here. I think the White Ranger actually gives a shit right now, and that's uh -huh. definitely going to work to uh, his advantage and uh, Green Goblin's detriment at this point. White Ranger versus Bane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I, I do have, um... Uh-oh! Whip him on the outside! Oh. White Ranger looking to go uh, looking to go yard here! He's going all the way up. Looking back and forth. Back and forth. Here we go! Looking to fly high here! Spear He's through the jumping. ropes! Jesus! Just knocks him straight on his back. This I don't is know what the White Ranger's trying to prove, but he's definitely proving it right now. M much like Trunks in the last matchup, White Ranger has come to play. Uh, I get the joke. Yeah. On that same token, though, uh, I'm actually a little surprised by how resilient the Green, Green Goblin's trying to be right now. Well, yeah, remember, like, Green Goblin hasn't wrestled that much. Oh my gosh, he's locking in the figure four leg lock. Yes! He's like, well, he's. I think this is only his um his third match back. He did one match against, I think it might have been Sub Zero, and then he had the Elimination Chamber match. Uh, he also had, I think, a uh, Crystal Crystal Lake Street Fight or something with Jason. Actually, yeah, okay. So they have fought each other since then. Never mind. They fight each other a lot, apparently. Oh, it's yeah. not quite like a story feud, but it's definitely there. Alley oop. Oh yeah. Well, it's it's like two of those people that are like they they have good matches against each other. Go for one, two, kick out of two. Well, Bret Hart has faced a lot of big men, and Jason is definitely a big man. Oh, yeah. Elbows of the face here. White Ranger is still in total control of this match. He has dictated the pace from bow to stern, and if this keeps up, Green Goblin might as well sign his freaking death warrant. Ooh, springboard elbow drop. Ooh, has he geez. not seen Cookie Monster versus Trunks? That's not going to work. Jeez, this match is... I'm so impressed right now with the White Ranger. He's showing off, that's definitely for sure. And Green Goblin just taking all of what the White Ranger's been giving him. That's true, but he hasn't gotten pinned. That's the big thing. That really is at this point. Getting put in that top rope. White Ranger, what's he looking for up here? Some huge, Superplex, apparently. maybe? Top is rope. Superplex? Top rope. Oh, shit! Well, okay wasn't quite what I was expecting. No, it was still amazing. Cover one, two, two. No, kick at it, two. How? How is Green Goblin still in this match? Man, these first two matches have been a show. Oh, man. And not a bad kind of show, either. This is not That's like, true. uh... This is not like December Ooh. to December, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. This is something way better. Nice little <laughs> uh, teardrop suplex there. Green Goblin looking maybe for that pumpkin bomb here. Finally. He's going there to There it is! Him. What? Pumpkin bomb! Pumpkin bomb! Oh, that finisher kicks ass. Cover! One! One! Two! Two! No! Kick at it, two! How to know it's all a finisher, ladies and gentlemen. And how to immediately devalue a finisher. <laughs> Debut it, have their opponent kick out. <laughs> that's that's just depressing. Well this game doesn't know how booking works. I, I don't think so. It'll either. give you a good one-on-one -on -one match. That much is certain. 
well, maybe he'll win this match here as soon as Green Goblin actually manages oh, to do something. Oh, knee trembler! Jesus, right to the temple of the poor White Ranger. How stiff this match has been. They want to kill each other for some reason. I'm not <laughs> even so certain why. They just want to kill each other. It reminds me of this comment that I saw as I was watching uh, Nakamura vs. Joe. This match is stiffer than Triple H in in, uh, in a casket. <laughs> oh, God, why? Uh, why is that joke of all the jokes you could possibly never make? Never forget Katie Vick. Never Spitting forget back fist. Oh, oh, man, kicks to the Jesus. chest. Oh, God, why? I'm just knocking the wind out of her cover. One, two, kick at it, two. He may have knocked the crap out of him, but it looks like the crap was knocked right back into the Green Goblin because he still gives it. Absolutely. Oh, maybe the uh, Tiger Sword? No, gets out of it again. He is not letting him hit that Tiger Sword, and you cannot blame him for that. Green Goblin certainly doing his scouting before this match. He knows what he's doing. He is the hitman. That's true. And a uh, side Russian leg sweep. Brilliant move, a little old-fashioned, but definitely something that will still put someone on their back. Uh-oh. Well, Green Goblin was never one for Flair. It was just getting the job done. Well, again, Flair tends to get people hurt, and I don't mean Rick. That's true. It could be the uh, the argument of my, my career will last a lot longer than you. Well, I mean, that's the reason why uh, everyone keeps telling Sammy, hey, don't do the uh, planchata. That's going to get you killed. Well, Steve Austin There's told him that. Avalanche back suplex one. Two? No. Nope. Yeah, Steve Austin told him that. And I, and I can understand why Steve Austin would say that. He's had his neck broken. Absolutely. As had uh, Edge. But, you know, in today's world, that's something you just got to do in order to get notice. Well, I, I have a feeling in, like, the next ten years, we're going to have, like, wrestlers have shorter and shorter careers. Like, almost like football players, they'll have a good, like, five or six-year run in, like, the big leagues and then be done. Just because the style has just, like, gotten crazy at this point. Yeah. Ooh, hyper extending the knee. And that poor and that poor quad. It's like he's trying to turn him into Triple H again. Oh, uh, maybe he's looking for another pumpkin bomb here. I would definitely not be too remiss about that. Oh, wheelbarrow Adam stunner. What the? F what? Man, speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Stone Cold reference one, two. Oh, kick at it two. He just. He puts in two new finishers. He gets exactly zero off. <laughs> that wheelbarrow stunner is sweet. It really is, though. I think it definitely wasn't something I was seeing coming. Oh. I honestly thought he was going to put him in a sharpshooter. Yeah, but, hey, I'm not going to complain too hard. What, what is that move called? I, and I don't mean like wheelbarrow stunner. I think it actually is called a wheelbarrow stunner. Well, I mean, like, I know that's what it's called, but I mean, like, you know. Oh, oh, as far as that. Um, yeah, like, what is he called? The, uh, huh. Huh. Well, I think of something. It's it's whatever he calls his ship. That little uh, glider, glider thing. Yeah. Yeah, the gli it's a glider, I think. I'll, uh, Goblin I'll, glider? I'll, that is the uh, the tentative name for it. I will Google it as soon as this match is over, because it might be. The fact that we're recording this while on you, like... <laughs> what the fuck? That was awesome. What? We're both watching this video. Uh, I uploaded it to YouTube. So we could watch it without having like the uh, you know screen sharing all that horse shit. Another spinning back fist. He is just beating the ever loving shit out of Green Goblin. But Green Goblin taking it all. I'm I'm impressed. He he's taking it so much that White Ranger's actually tired now. Yeah, I, it's almost like the Homer Simpson boxing episode where he just like, oh what? That was three. Uh, even I got to admit that was basically three. Uh, Yamcha. <laughs> Apparently forgetting how to count. The, the bar, the Barclay screw job. No, but um, I, I guess he was looking for another, uh, another tiger sword. Tiger sword. Oh, yes. the goblin glider! Oh my gosh, the goblin glider! It, this can't be it, can it? After I don't know. Basically, Yamcha screw jobbing White Ranger and cover. With, uh, White two. Ranger, Ranger, cover Got one, him! Two. Got him! My God, why? How? What? Green Goblin didn't screw White Ranger. White Ranger screwed White Ranger. I thought it, I thought I thought Magnitude was trying to be Vince McMahon. What are you doing, man? <laughs> I, if the refs didn't see it, it didn't happen. The ref was counting. Green Goblin's glider. What is?
Oh, it, is it is it called the Goblin Glider? Because that would be actually really convenient. Yeah, I know, right? I, I, I mean, it sounds like a pretty good name. Name? Green Goblin's Glider name. Oh. Huh. Oh, yep. Yeah. After his after the flying broomstick, Green Goblin then re soon redesigned his vehicle into an improved version that he called his Goblin Glider. Wow! Woo All right! <laughs> Press comes with a victory. And hey, you can buy a Green Goblin t-shirt. Yay! <laughs> what does it look like? Oh my god, I almost kind of want that. <laughs> I kind of hope you put, that, you put that on the video. If not, put it in like the link in the description. I, I, I'm going to send it to you right now so you see. <laughs> so, yes, please, do so. Hell of a long link. Oh my god. That is a long link. Look at that! Yes. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to buy that. <laughs> Legitimately. I, I can totally understand. <laughs> what? What is... Is Green Goblin... What's wrong with Green Goblin anymore? Well, he is kind of a villain. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of, but he used to give sunglasses to children. Oh, hi, Hugh Jackman. My God, that's almost horrifying. <laughs> yeah, we went full Hugh Jackman in this one. Here's a real question. Why is Link a ninja? I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> I'll take it. It's just... That's weird, bro. It was one of those, like... The, I had two options for Link. It was either... It was either Ninja Link, or it was Link whose face looked way too much like John Cena, and it looked really shitty. I was like, Ninja Link it is! Yeah, no, I definitely can understand that, then. <laughs> I can't imagine Link looking like John Cena. That's way too manly. Yeah. That's why he didn't debut immediately, but, like, he looks damn good now. And this is a good-looking Wolverine. It's just that yeah, I still really hate him for interrupting the video package. You know, I really hate to be, uh, you know... I, I, I may have bragged on it just a bit there, but really, this is probably the best anyone could do on this game. Oh, yeah. In this case. And it's really good. It actually is really good. Oh, yeah. Uh, and why... Um, they may be asking, Hey, Trevor, why'd you rank Wolverine 12th when you ranked all the other world champions 1 through 4? Because fuck Wolverine, that's why. <laughs> really? Just fuck Wolverine. How long was he even champion? <laughs> for like a, a month, and then Jason beat him for it. Well, surprise, surprise. I mean, they screwed the Hulk out of his first, like, legitimate title reign. But now Hulk is on a better title reign. Which we can definitely hope lasts far longer than that man's freaking yeah. title reign. And, speak, and speaking of the Hulk, he is, again, facing the winner of this tournament at Galactic Throwdown 5. Yes, sir. Because tournament's galore. That's right. And, and here, uh, comes here comes Link. Link, Link who uh, put in a damn good effort in that Elimination Chamber match. In fact, he was actually the last one left besides Hulk. Which is definitely something huge for a guy like Link at this point in his life. Yeah, which is why I ranked him number five, because of that exact thing. He was the one that lasted the longest. He should be one that ranked the highest of people that don't have a world title belt, besides Wolverine, because fuck Wolverine. Fuck Wolverine. So Wolverine might be coming in here with a little bit of a chip shoulder, because, uh... Fuck Wolverine. He's actually, <laughs> well, not only is he the Wolverine, but he does have a world championship under his belt. That's true. Albeit it was via cash-in. He is the Jack Swaggerist of, of all of our uh, blue champions. Well, I mean, it's be it's still better than Bandit Keep, okay? That's true. That's, that's very true. But, I was about to say, let's just be honest. Anything is better than Bandit Keep. Uh, Me winning a title would be better than Bandit <laughs> and that And I would never allow that, no. That's true. And here we go. Wolverine, Wolverine. versus Link. Wolverine starting off with a big sidewalk slam. This match also probably has some implications. We have uh, at least people in the top ten. We have one picking to win it all. So the Link or Wolverine. Oh, uh, Link. Good. There are actually a few people that have Link re winning it all. Well, can you blame them? Where there's smoke, there's, there's like fire, and Link is fire. Link beating smoke in the finals. Smoke's already done, so that bad day for that guy. I, yeah, he's he's already lost half his bracket. Oh yeah. Bring back Skeeter Valentine had White Ranger winning it all. That's not happening. Nope. Hmm. In fact, uh, wait, who was the who was the, was it number one or number two who had a uh, who had a uh, oh the perfect bracket going into the day had White Ranger winning it all. So Ooh. he went from he having just got someone really blasted. Oh yeah. Uh, Z Goodman Tana. Oh, I'm not gonna give you uh, but uh, <laughs> actually, I was about to read his his email account. Um, yeah. Because his 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 name is pronounced. Z Q U E T. 
Is that Zekay? 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 That's why I'm like, that's why I went for a Z Goodman 10. Like, normally I can, like, pronounce names like that, but no. Yeah. So, so he, he going to the day, he was leading. Um, by, uh, by the way, um, after I patch, uh, po uh, post up the video, which may go up tonight, t today is Sunday, like, as soon as we're done with this, I'm immediately gonna, like, start syncing up and, uh, I'm putting the video, like, oh, what a spear! What a Jesus master Christ. sword! By Link, this match might already be over. No! Wolverine punches him in the dick. Yeah, I'm gonna put this video up. Basically, you have 24 hours after the match, after the, um, the show goes live. Nice power bomb by Wolverine. And then after that, I will update the match results. So, check the description. The link to the bracket will be in the description. But after day, and I will, like, preface it, like, when I, in the description saying, spoilers, if I've, I've, if I've updated it. So, if you don't want to get spoiled, don't look at the bracket until after you watch the video. And a nice Big little suplex, suplex by Link. there. Big suplex by Link. Mm. Uh, just saying, Wolverine's a bit of a dick. Oh yeah, fuck Wolverine. He never opened my video package. Now no one's ever going to see it. And not only that, though, but he's also that guy who just... He just punched a guy who's just trying to get up in the world in the dick. Oh, I know. Oh, man! All right. Jesus! Give the devil his due. That was pretty cool. I mean, he just sent Link over with a gut punch. A gut kick, so, you know. Yeah, kicked him in the face. A savat kick. This a lot. I now whipping him into that corner. I love CWC so much. How much have you seen of the CWC? It it's one of those things. It's like you know. Normally, I kind of hate the WWE, but and by that I don't mean like you know. Uh, WWE just sucks. Uh, small lines of eh. <clears throat> Could definitely do better. Yeah. But what is Link doing? Oh. <laughs> okay. That's one That's... way to win via count out. That's. That's probably one of the more painful things I've seen all day. Absolutely. That's not padded. That no, no, like yeah. That's the one section of the arena that they can fight in. That's not Oh, and the stairs. The stairs are also not padded. I wonder why. <laughs> Link breakdancing. But yeah, the CWC very very good. I suggest you watch that. Cuz it, it it's more of like an MMA style tournament of like like there there's honor, there's like a pre-match handshake and like it's it's Mauro Ronaldo and Daniel Bryan calling it, which you know those two are like mega fans at this point. So you know Daniel Bryan marks for anyone hitting anyone in the face. It's hilarious. He's like he chopped him in the face. <laughs> uh, that's why we love you, Daniel. Oh, uh, th those two like Daniel Bryan should be like general manager and also like ringside guy. Just kick out a tonga. Kick out Byron. Oh, no, no, kick out. Uh, it's um, JBL. Kick out. Oh, definitely kick out JBL. Yeah. I, JBL was a good idea until he wasn't. Yeah. Which is definitely depressing because, you know, we wanted him back. And then he and was now just, we're just getting dog this, shit. And now, and now it's back to this spot where he just keeps whipping him into the side. Yep. Thankfully, he stopped doing that. Well, it's not going to be any too much if Link can't get up and get back there in this ring. Oh, Link getting back into the ring. You have Thank at least God. three people to appease, Link. Did anyone Are even you, pick Wolverine to win this? No, but I definitely am not picking Wolverine to win this uh, tournament either. Or this match, for that matter. Link going up top. Oh, my God. Red Arrow. Okay. One. Two. Wow. Link has a hell of a spear and a hell of an aerial attack. Oh, who in man. the world's... Like, no. Uh, breaking the fourth wall. Who in the hell's moveset did you give him? I didn't. This was like... This all came predetermined. I just changed his finisher to the, to the spear. Well, here he goes with his giant swing after hitting a red arrow and a massive spear. Yeah, because I like a bunch of the moves he does. The baby stunner that he has coming up soon. It's a dull oh. Yeah. Can't wait for the baby stunner. One, two... No, kick at it. Two. Damn it. <laughs> Wolverine. Quit being a dick and just eat the finishers and die. And remember, winner of this match faces Trunks. Which will which be is... either Wolverine ruining everyone's day, or Link, a rematch of the uh, the mega powers of sexual and emotional powers. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. And it's true. Oh, looking for the suplex, gets blocked, and a suplex of his own by Wolverine, the rabid Wolverine, Wolverine. I liked you better back when you were just a mid-carder, you douche. <laughs> then he won Money in the Bank. 
And then I had to figure out what to do with it. I don't think I'm ever going to do Money in the Bank again. It's just hard to keep track of it. Well, it's not just hard to keep track of it, but, you know, it's usually something that would be used when, like, storylines go awry. Yeah. Like, like think, uh... Think when Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar was going to come down. It's like, okay, so we can either not see the title for all year, or we can see it around Roman Wa- Reigns' waist. It's what like, is well, this? Oh! Jesus, why? Small package powerbomb. Basically Zangief's finisher. Cover one, two. Kick out at two. Why is your moveset so fantastic, Link? I know, it's why? amazing. Like, good lord, if this was something I saw... Baby Center! The baby stunner. That might be it, actually. Cover. Cover. One. Two. Oh, kick at it, too. Gosh darn it. Just stay down, Wolverine. It's okay. Wolverine, I had to put you in this tournament. Oh, my God. Sling Blade. Jesus. This is just <laughs> not looking great for this guy. His moveset's Wolverine. almost not fair. Looking for the Master oh, Sword. God, go. Got him! I like his other spear better, but that was awesome still. Oh, yeah. Well, it's because Wolverine fucked up the spot by being too close. Cover! One! Two! That's it! Link moves on in fairly easy fashion. Especially against a world champion. Congratulations to Link. Yeah, Link, so hot right now. The number five seed moves on to face... Where is it? The number 20 seed Trunks. You know what? That's going to be a match everyone needs to see, and I'd be very, very honored to call, or call that one. Oh, damn right. If you're around next week, let's do it. So ne- I definitely should be. Next match we have is Jason versus One Punch Man. We'll see if anyone picks either the win. Let's see if our top ten here. One has Jason in the finals, Jason in the final four. Hmm. How could anyone have Jason, like, not at least make it A to lot the top of these four. people in the top ten don't have Jason in the final four. I'm scrolling. Ow. I'm scrolling. Jason in the final four there for Sub Zero all the way. Let's see. Still riding the Green and Goblin. Hype Train does not. Jason wins. Oh, there we go. Jason wins LOL. Okay. The top ten is, go- is definitely going to be, like, you know, cir- cycling out a little bit because it was the first four matches. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely like one of those. Hey, look at this! You have won the preliminaries. Congratulations! Once we get out of the like the second round, we'll see where people really are, and like it'll be like less like jumpy, I think. Once we make it through yeah. those first eight matches, so after Blue sixty five, we'll see. Well, until then though, Link definitely going on in strong fashion, and here comes the next match. Oh, good lord! Yeah, yeah, made it the uh, the the uh, the main event here. Mainly because, uh, you know, Jason's the number one seed in this whole damn tournament. And he's also one of the biggest uh, draws in this entire, well, I, I would say the company, but it's more than just that. If you ever take a look at anyone else's stuff, I'm not going to be putting anyone's name out there, but if you ever look anywhere else, Jason's a pretty big portion of anyone's show. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. He's pretty decent. And he was kind of an afterthought for us, but it was one of those things where, like, he, like... We, we kind of have the NXT mindset where, like, if we see that people really like someone, we'll, like, absolutely book them better. But that being said, don't be a dick and just demand us to book one person, and it's just one person, and you get really annoying. Yeah. I think that's happened to quite a few people, actually. Looking at you, Flash and Lord Cheeseburger. Oh my gosh, that's the exact per- people I was just thinking of. Lord Cheeseburger was in one match. But he would have more matches, but no, people just had to demand him. Well, well, again with the top ten thing, any of them could pick Lord Cheeseburger, much like the this one bracket called Lord Cheeseburger Fan Club. I wonder who he's going to pick. Who has Jason going to the finals? Oh boy! Has Captain America winning the whole thing? Cookie Monster and Bane rounding out his final four. One of those already done. Yep. Ooh, I, I fucking love Jason's entrance. That's because it just... It, it's its just what feels right. <laughs> I know. Like, you could actually imagine Jason doing this. Oh, yeah, just like... No lights, lantern... Come out to Nine Inch Nails. He just looks scary. He it, And I'll just say this right now. Whoever made this Jason did a fantastic job. Oh, yeah. 
props to whoever made that. Um, if you want to post anything in the comment section, I might read it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I like a Jason like this because a lot of Jasons just like, oh, it's got blood on the clothes. I don't want that. I want Jason just going to war. Yeah. I don't want it to be like, you know, just like, oh, he just murdered a bunch of teenagers. Now he's going to fight a wrestling match. No, that's just stupid. Yeah, in this case, he looks like I know that's just camo, but whoever did this camo definitely understood that he was a. Uh, that it also looks like uh, someone just like tore the shit out of a jacket. Oh yeah. Also, whoever did that mask? Because I don't think that mask comes like that. No, it's really good with like, especially with the black backing on it for for his head and everything, and the, like the black gloves, yeah. really well made. Yeah, whoever made this, uh, props to you, man Pro or woman. I don't give a shit. Make it in seventeen. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're definitely, we're definitely going to need your help in 17. Yeah. <laughs> also, I've already pre-ordered 17, just, th just throwing that out there. So, we will be moving to 17 when the time comes. Th that reminds me, though, um, <clears throat> oh, wow, look at the size difference. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I expected this to be, like, a lot closer in size difference, I just keep forgetting just how massive Jason is. Yeah, and how tiny One Punch Man is. Just so tiny. So big, and now he's on his nerves. One Punch Man was having a Goldberg-esque run, and then he lost to Superman, which definitely, uh, like, sour. Like, but, again, that started Superman's upswing. Superman, by the way, fighting Deadpool and Captain Ultra for the Galactic title at Galactic Throwdown 5. Which is definitely fine, but, I mean... Like, Superman if, is going to fight in that title match on merit. Yeah, but still, it's definitely, you know, kind of one of those questions of... Why did it have to be One Punch Man? You know what I mean? Yeah, true. Oh, well. He might be losing to Jason here in about the next five minutes. Oh, anyway. my God! <laughs> That's a gut buster from hell. Oh, man. One Punch Man. You're used to fighting big things. There you go. Punching Jason in the gut. Didn't know that would actually work on a guy who barely has one. Yeah. I mean, like, of all the people, like... In the uh, 15 through like uh, 20, I think yeah, 14 through 20, he I I, I would consider uh, One Punch Man Punch Man to maybe be the strongest, either him or Thor. Well, you know, you say that, but I kind of or I'm kind of looking at Trunks now, going, you know, he had a wonderful match. Oh yeah, a very hey, resilient match too. And it, it's probably going to end up being match of the night, despite how wonderful that uh that uh. Link match was where he just basically killed Wolverine because hey, any match that ends up with Wolverine on the ground makes me smile. <laughs> For me, I think um, going into this match, I think match of the night was uh, Goblin and uh, and a White Ranger. I I enjoy stiff matches apparently. Well, you know what, strong style definitely fits you. Absolutely. Well, I I literally just saw uh, Nakamura versus Joe live, so that that is a very good point. Oh and I'm, man. Uh, and if I can have my way, I would definitely watch a wonderful match for that um, brand new Universal Champion or Universe Championship. Um, um, the guy in the right and I were there for that match, so we apologize for uh, shitting on that belt and kind of kind of derailing the first half of the match. We got a lot of negative comments about that, not directed at us, but directed at like everyone in the crowd. But um, well, it yeah. Well, like, you know, the match was, like, well beyond average. It was a wonderful match. It was. And once we realized, that we we're like, oh, it's it's these two fighting each other. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to kill them. But it's it, it's literally less about, you know, hey, it's these two fighting against each other. Because those guys are wonderful. And they put on a hell of a show. Yeah. But <clears throat> then they're, or, but, man, if the WWE didn't want. Uh-oh. Or went that match. Big boy sent on. Got to love it. <laughs> But if we really want, or if they really wanted uh, us to notice the match more than the title belt, they wouldn't have made the title belt basically just a red fucking WWE he World Heavyweight Championship. All they needed to do is just have it be. Oh man, look at the strength of One Punch Man! Jesus, going for the gore. No, he's not going for the gory special, but he definitely should have looked for oh, something else. Oh, gets punched in the face by Jason. All they need to do is just have a blood red strap, like a really really dark red strap, and I think it would have looked good. But no, it's like bright red, like it should, like belongs in a fruit, like a bowl of fruity pebbles. My fa my favorite part, honestly, during that match, is when we had all kind of calmed down from like booing the title belt and focus on the match, and then they kept like panning over to the title belt. We just boo whenever it would be on camera. <laughs> a 
Well, yeah, watch that match again, and just like toward, towards the middle to the end of the match, it would just be like someone on the outside, and like it just slowly pan over the title. We're like, bow, and then it would pan away, and we'd, like, we'd stop, and then it pan back to the title, bow. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like that. It kind of reminds me of that SpongeBob episode with uh, whenever Squidward would show his tentacle, they would just stop cheering, but whenever they saw SpongeBob's hand, they would like wildly applaud. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was so funny. Again, we apologize for being dicks during that match. Not trying to yeah. glorify the match, but it it was funny at the time. Not trying to be dicks. Eh, be a dick. I don't care. <laughs> but but the fact is that well, was like a like it, like well, Seth Rollins like came out like a sad parent afterwards. He's like, I'm not mad, Brooklyn. I'm just disappointed. I'm like, damn it, Seth. That hurts so much more. I well, that yeah, I know definitely. And I love and again. Love Seth Rollins. Love Finn Balor. They both were wonderful competitors. And if that title belt looked any different, I think we probably would have actually enjoyed that match a lot more. But, my God, really? <laughs> yeah, nice elbow drop by one punch, man. He's definitely taking control of this match ever since we started talking about that Red Championship. I think he's just about as mad about it as we are. Maybe he thinks we're talking about his gloves and boots. You know what? Can you blame him? <laughs> I mean, they, they are a little ugly, the, the gloves and boots. Jason! On the, okay. <laughs> Jason hopping off the top rope. Can't say I blame him. Yeah, Jason now thinks has the cartilage in his knees to jump off the top rope. Oh, damn! Everything. No, but he definitely has cartilage enough in his knees for a power slam. Everything Jason does looks like it just kills. Kills you. Well, it's just like, well, it's like you know, doing the world's strongest slam. If anyone else did the world's longest or strongest slam other than Mark Henry, it'd be like, eh. But that is 400 plus pounds worth of just pure fucking muscle falling on you. Oh, yeah. One, two, no, okay, get it. Two, bye, Jason. One Punch Man in control right now over Jason. What an upset that would be. I was about to say, he turned this match around in a huge way. Because you know, Magnation tournaments generally don't go as planned. Never do. Anything, as as they used to say, any given Sunday. That's true. Oh, Jason. Going outside now. What's he playing no here? Way. He can't. DDT on the apron. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to give you the eulogy of Sayatama, but I definitely think he's now dead. Oh, I thought he was going to get something on the table. Well, if this was any other game, that he definitely would have. But sadly, 2K16 does not do that, which is definitely unfortunate. I know. Hopefully, it changed. but on that same, that was but on that same token, though, it's really nice to not see. Uh, RKO breaking a table with John Cena's freaking toe. Yeah. That's just shenanigans. Yeah, I think it should have, like, weight like weight sensors out there, so if, like, a certain amount of, like, body weight falls on it, then it breaks. That'd be cool as fuck, but I think that would require a game with even more uh, processing power than 2K17. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they fix some stuff. I mean, like, I was reading over some stuff and it looked pretty cool. Well, like, here's my question. Are they gonna get, are they gonna bring back, uh, like, Almost like a story mode kind of thing? Uh, something like that. Nice avalanche back suplex. The thing that I care most about right now, that, like, excites me the most, is that if you get hit by a big move in, like, a th- triple threat match or a fatal four-way or, like, a six-man, you roll out of the ring. Ooh, so, like, say someone... Or say uh, someone with a scissors kick big boot, like, were to get hit by it next to the ropes, you would actually, like, fall out of the ring? Yep. Oh, now that's wonderful. That that makes Fatal 4-Ways just so much more Yeah, Fatal 4-Ways, triple threat matches, oh, ladder Big. matches. Oh, my God. That way it's not just like six people just punching each other in the ring. And, you know, it's like... Oh, oh damn! Earnage sign slam. That might be it. That Uranage just might put him down. Two. Kevin, one. Two. Kick at it. Two. Oh. Buy one. Punch. Jason. Surprised. I would just like to point out the fact that even with Jason on his haunches, he's still almost as tall as the ring. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Look at the highlight video again of um, of uh, Jason versus the Hulk. It's absurd. Well, it's just like two... It's basically two cows fighting in the middle of a field. They take up half the ring. I don't doubt. It's hilarious. Sayatama Sia, just basically... With arms wide open... Ladies and gentlemen, that might still be one of my favorite finishers in this entire show. And cover. That might be it. It's the move that put away a thousand people. One, we'll put two, out. kick out at two. 
And that is what how you improve your draft stocks, so kicking out of an arms wide open. Well, it's definitely not looking good for him in the match, but at the same time, you want to talk about a way to make yourself look good? Kicking out of that? Definitely not a bad way to start. Oh, yeah. Oh, and now what he's a lariat! Hmm. One Punch Man fighting back into this. I mean, Andy I had him Dave. dead to rights after that arm's wide open, but he is fighting back. He's put Jason on his back afterwards. This is definitely something you don't see every day. One, two. Oh, kick out of two. And now One Punch Man's got to ask himself what he's got to do to put away Jason. He's got to pull out the big stops. All of them. Yes, or that one punch he does. Well, that's basically the biggest stop he's got. Mm-hmm. He's fighting out of this nerve hold. He t he's tired of Jason getting on his nerves. The nerve of that Jason. The nerve. Uh-oh. What is one punch okay. man doing? Getting on the outside of the ring. Jason's only stumbling. There's going to be doing, but can't... Is he allowed to Dive do this? Dive in the corner outside DDT. Yeah, absolutely. Sweet backflipping Jesus. I mean, he's got to roll him in the ring to cover him, which he might want to do yeah. now. But he just might. Big punch to the face. Big punch to the gut. Big punch to the face. And a and suplex. A snap suplex. And I don't know what the count is, but he, I mean, he must be at least past five here. He's got to roll him back in. He's got to at least think about it. Otherwise, he could just get back into the ring if he hadn't picked Jason back up. And there we go, Jason. And remember, if there is a double count out, they're both eliminated. Which will just give someone a bye. Mm-hmm. Which would be the Green Goblin. Now, wouldn't that just be the saddest thing for a Green Goblin to have to miss a match? <laughs> Although it would move a Green Goblin, I think, to the uh, semifinals. Yeah, semifinals. Yeah, it would. Huh. So that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for the Green Goblin. It would. I mean, disappointing for, for like a wrestling fan, but as far as like a Green Goblin fan? Hell yeah. One Punch I mean, Man! I definitely... Oh, the diving famous are from the top rope. All of those leg drops, though. That might be it. One leg drop, man. One, two, kick at it, two. Big Jason deciding that leg drops just aren't enough to keep him down. No, sir. Fighting back into this match is Jason Voorhees. And after he's already landed on Oh, oh after that carnage of his knees. Oh, that's no good. Especially with as big as he is, that's gonna hurt him for a while. Oh, I know. He was a little, uh, a little more svelte in the last, uh, the last annotation of the game. He's a little bigger now, but he's definitely using that power to his advantage. But can he use it enough to his advantage? He's being basically slammed around by, by One Punch Man. He's got to get back in this match somehow. One Punch Man making this match more competitive than it has any right to be. Especially after he's already lost to Superman. I guess he's just really mad about losing to Superman. I mean, who wouldn't be? Especially with how, how, especially with how bad Superman had been doing beforehand. Well, that, that also does... Um, oh, man! Gut buster by Jason. It also makes sense for uh, for why Trunks won, because he also lost to uh, Superman in the Elimination Chamber. Apparently, whoever loses to Superman just gets really mad. Cannon! With I arms say, right wide now. open! Jesus Christ. That's got to be it. That has to be it. A second arm. Cover one, two. Oh, he kicked out again. How? What? No. Yamcha, you better recount that right now. He Yamcha. kicked out again. And Jason's got to ask himself what he's got to do. He's got to do something huge, something bigger than he like is. Like a rear chin lock. So big. <laughs> And you gotta figure, One Punch Man hasn't even hit him with that one punch. No, he hasn't. If he doesn't, he's going to be remiss about that. Yeah, and if he does, he may damn Jawbreak. well win this match. He hits with that jawbreaker. And whips him in the corner. He's so tired, Ooh, though. But gets a nice clothesline in. And sets Jason's him up. not feeling too good right now. No, but Jason hit him with that headbutt. He's got a big head. In the corner, looking for one big move here. What's going to be that one big move? Oh God! Oh no! A tree of woe. What? Stomping him! Stomping him! Jeez! Stomping him! Crushing his head. Putting that. 
Ew, that boot has to be disgusting. Yeah, and just straight to his head. He's smelling that for weeks. He might have been knocked He's out from that. that. One, two, that's it! And apparently Sayatama, or Sayatama just being choked out by that massive boot of Jason puts him out. Well, that's a realistic finish. Well, yeah, but it's still a little sad. I was kind of expecting something, like, like not for nothing. I was expecting something massive to be the end of this match. Yeah, a little bit, but that's how you can tell that I don't play these matches over and over again. Nope. One it's shot. Bad. It's a very legitimate tournament. It is the most legitimate tournament, and in this case... Legitimacy kills Sayatama and ends up with a big win for Jason. That's right, and that was a one hell of a card. And next week you will see Bane versus Android 18. Magneto. 17. Oh, yeah, 17. I was about to say, I hope, Matt, or I hope not Android 18. <laughs> I think she's got other things to do. Very true. Magneto versus Sub Zero. Captain America versus Thor. And Boo versus Nightwing. And in round three, already confirmed, Jason versus Green Goblin. Yep. And Trunks versus Link. Two amazingly hyped matches. I'm hyped. I'm definitely hyped right now. We stay hyped. We don't get hyped. We stay hyped. He ain't hyped. He ain't hyped. All right. Well, that's it for Blue 64. We will see you next time, people. Have yourself a Ooh. lovely evening. Have yourself a fantastic evening. Good night.